Well, while you're doing that, Gary, really quick, if this kind of stuff that we just talked about is of interest to you, this is what the, the, the program at Stanford's about. I think maybe Gary's going to talk about it a little bit more, but again, he used the word we're accepting because uh, there's only going to be two companies that get to move into that program. So something to think about. Great. Well, I don't know about you all, but man, I think if one more thing goes in here, something's going to have to fall out this side. What a day packed with just tons of really good insight and information. I, I tried to recap my highlights and I'm, I'm going to just run through real quickly. For me, the, the real takeaways uh, from today, you know, starting with Todd, you know, these things are going to happen regardless of what we think or want. The question is, what are you going to do? Moving on to the panel, change was born out of chaos. That was, that was a great line. And we got to modernize as imperative to be safe and competitive. Doogie, what an impressive journey and results. And he said, one, you know, $20 million tied up in ducks. If you lost that much money, you would be very annoyed. <laughs> that was a great line. Petronas, clear line of sight to the workflow and the interfaces. That, that was just tremendous insight. And then Randy, it was just fascinating to listen to how vaccinations were coming out of a very clear production system from, from the drug companies and then just dumped into the distribution system. And you know that's, that's just like what we do on our projects. Manufacturing have great production systems and we just dump it on a, on a project site in the craft with no idea of, of what the production system is gonna look like after that. Efron, I, it's just a lot of really good stuff from Microsoft. It, one thing that really caught my attention is equipment supplier lead times are excessive. And then contractor supplied required at date times are in way in advance of what's needed. You put those two things together and look at the work and process that gets generated. Just huge. And the focus changed from control to production. I thought that was a great line. And then Amy, I mean, I, I'm going to have to watch that. That was fully energy. Get out of the project centric mindset. That was great. That was super. On the journey, I, I really like that roadmap James showed us. I thought that was that was really insightful. And then especially how it ended, I'm going to get to that in a minute. But when we talked about, or Keith talked about ETO or engineer to order versus configure to order, I thought that man that that is going in the right direction. And that that flat pad example that that Jan gave us is just. The perfect example of saying, I'm going to industrialize, yet I'm going to use traditional construction management methods to, to make it happen. And you can end up with a mess. And that's exactly what they saw. That was just like, wow, that is a great textbook case example. And then, and then ending that roadmap, but there's no free moves. It's really a circle. And you, you change this, it affects this. And all those things are interactive. So how do you, how do you handle all five of those at one time? And then innovation, Todd, you did a great job of, of recapping that, of, you know, the really come the, the human robot collab collaboration and cooperation, man, just think about the possibility of that. You got your construction crew sitting in a trailer and the robots out there, you know, physically doing the work and there it's like, you know, flying drones, but at, at a construction site, I just the, the possibilities of that just blow my mind. And, and the data, you know, the data is just gold. It's laying around on the ground for the most part. We're just walking past it saying, oh, isn't that shiny stuff on the ground interesting? Uh, but we're not picking up and putting our pockets like, like some companies are starting to do, like Microsoft and Chevron. And I really like the, the digital, Todd, your, your view that the digital twin is going to create itself someday. And that, what an exciting possibility. Think about, you know, schedule will be obsolete. We already know how long it's going to take depending on the production schedule that that production system and, and the schedule that results from that. It, it struck me, that whole segment struck me of, of thinking about how autos were manufactured pre-Ford assembly line. Each one was handmade uniquely one at a time and the cost was very high. And that's what we're doing in construction today. Now fast forward in the assembly line, a modern assembly line, which we saw at F-150 plant, one Ford truck, one F-150 every minute. And the automation, the, the data, the robotics, the uh, industrialization that went in to make that happen, that's how far we've got to go. And the construction of the future is just gonna be so much different than it is today. 
But a step along that journey, if you want to start learning how to, you know, the no free move picture, how do you how do you work all five of those things at one time to get effective offsite fabrication? We've talked about it multiple times. We're going to drop into the chat this same link if you want to go get signed up. I want to encourage you to do that. The first class is going to be at Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo on December 2nd and 3rd. Please, you know, take some time out and begin your own personal journey. Again, look forward to our announcement on reimagining project management in March 2022. And again, like Todd said, we're taking applications now. We're going to pick two. We're going to start with that. So if your company has a desire to leapfrog competition and not let robotics put you out of business, being used by your competitor, you know, sign up for this. And a couple of closing thoughts. You know, what can you do? Join a working group. I think those working groups are just a fantastic way to bring this down into a, a segment of people with like issues and like minds to bring next practices into, into a sector. So if you if you've got an interest in that, please reach out to us. Get certified. You know, we're laying out the roadmap here of, of good certification of materials, both again at Cal Poly TAMU. We're going to have a couple of it around the world here developed next year. But you know, you got to get yourself educated. This is a completely different way to see the world, see things from a production mindset. Get out of the project world, as, as Amy said, or the project mindset, and then get involved. If you want to have more ideas on how to get involved, we can cover a lot here, but I'm just going to ask you, just drop me a note. We'll be glad to interact with you and, and figure out a way to get you more involved. So with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Roberto.